And you may remember it was almost exactly three years ago that ice from above covered many of the roads across Houston, causing more than 800 crashes. That was just in one day. Now, three of the biggest trouble spots are elevated highways, the intersection of the East Tex Freeway and the Beltway, where 59 in the West Loop meet near the Galleria, and near downtown Houston, where 288, 45, and 59 merge. Some people really like this weather because if there is madness and mayhem on the roads tomorrow, it'll turn into big business for local tow truck drivers. Our Rux Russell went along for the ride tonight. Rux? I-10 out here is wet and slick. It'll get even worse if these roads start to freeze over. This is what those tow truck drivers have been dealing with. And I got to tell you, for some of them, it's already been quite busy. It's another day on the job for tow truck driver Tiffany Castor. Full tank of gas, I get about 300 miles, so I go through a full tank every day. Only this day is a little bit different. Everyone's trying to rush to get home before it gets bad, but they don't realize that the roads are slick already. Slick and dangerous. Just ask the driver of this car Castor towed away. They were driving on the feeder, and uh, Trevor came to a stop, and he couldn't stop in time and ran at the other vehicle in front of him. She's seen a lot of that. Can you come to the lot? So have her colleagues at Houston's Fast Tow, where business is booming. But that's a double-edged sword. Really and truly, for us, I'm more worried about the risk of them being on the freeway. Uh, towing a couple extra cars is nothing in comparison to a truck getting hit or a driver getting hurt anyway. Castor's been fortunate. Are right, you ready? Go ahead. After five years on the job, she's never been hurt. He's heard a lot of excuses, though. Well, my brakes, they just didn't work, or I couldn't get my car to stop, or they just, I only looked down for a second, and when I looked back up, I couldn't stop. No excuses here. Go ahead and get out and get in the truck with me. His car simply stalled out. That's another tow job with plenty more to come. A drivers like that woman well, are going to be putting in 12-hour shifts. The most dangerous part of their job, though, it's going to be along those bridges and overpasses. We're live along the freeway tonight. Rux Russell, KHOU 11 News.